Hi, my name is Karen Buerta. I have been wanting to do mediation uh, or a mediation course for a number of years, but the outlook of the firm that I worked with before I started my own practice was that we are litigators and not mediators and you can't do both. I disagree with that. So I went into law wanting to make a difference in people's lives, not to tear them apart. But because I specialize in family law matters, litigation is inevitable. Litigation is not only extremely costly financially, but emotionally it takes a huge toll on the parties. This is even more so in family law matters, particularly where there are children involved. In my view, there are no winners in litigation, except perhaps the attorneys especially in family law matters where emotions are already high from the outset of the matter. Mediation for me offers a far quicker and less costly, both financial and emotional alternative to litigation. In family matters or any matter where the parties to the dispute have, have to have an ongoing relationship, it makes far more sense to attempt to resolve the issues without litigation which only polarizes people further. I want to know that what I do empowers people to live their best life and to move forward in a positive and constructive way. And I believe that mediation allows for this to happen. When I did the mediation course, I had just completed my BA psychology prior to doing the mediation course. And so I was able to put a lot of the the skills that I'd learned during my BA into, um, into action. Um, things like, for example, the, the importance of active listening and being aware of people's body language, paraphrase, things like that. Of course, I also learned how the mediation process works. And um, it's quite different to the, the mediation process that I have become accustomed to and that is used particularly down here in case it ends. And, you know, obviously I learned the importance of confidentiality and the impartiality of the mediator, the role of the mediator and all those type of things. But I also learned the importance of building rapport with parties. Often by the time people come to mediation, they've taken a very strong position. So even before the mediation starts, you need to be able to develop a relationship with both the parties without being seen to take sides and by staying impartial at the same time. But for me, I think the most profound thing that I've learned was to be more aware of myself and my own strengths and weaknesses. The more I practice the skills that I learned on the course, the more aware of myself I'm becoming, which for me is invaluable. Since doing the, the course, I've become far more aware of the importance of active listening in all situations, whether that's with a client, with an opposing attorney, with family and friends. Many years ago, a mentor of mine told me that in law, less is more, except in discovery, where more is always better. And I've always tried to put that into practice. I'm even more aware now than I was before the course that people want to know that they're being heard and understood. So speaking less and listening more and listening better is so important. And in mediation, I think that's one of the most important skills that you can learn. I also learned and was able to further develop um, my negotiation skills. And it's guided me in the manner in which I approach negotiation in my practice with other attorneys and the need to understand not only where my client is coming from but also the other party and more often than not the other party's attorney. In 2019 I attended the Clark's Family Law Conference in Johannesburg and I was introduced to Suzanne Kingston and Susie Power of the United Kingdom who I did a short course with on collaborative law, which is something quite new here in South Africa and particularly in KZN um, and in family law matters, it's not used here very often. And I wanted to do a mediation course that was interna internationally recognized. Uh, so I asked them 
who they would refer me to if uh, I wanted to do that. And both of them suggested that I do the CEDA approved course through Conflict Dynamics in Johannesburg. And I have to say, I'm really glad that I did it. It opened my eyes to an entirely different way of doing mediation uh, because as I said, the mediation that's done here in South Africa is largely mediation where the mediator sits in the same room with both the parties. So this shuttle mediation was something quite new to me. And I have to say, when I first started on the course, I was sort of quite taken aback. And how could this even work? And this is not possible. And so it, it opened my eyes to something that's, that, that's, that's new to me. And I have found it to be extremely helpful in the way that I not only do mediation going forward, but also the way in which I run my practice. <laughs> and of course, I have to say that I was just so delighted with everybody that was involved in doing the course, the facilitators, the trainers, everybody was just so enthusiastic and helpful and so knowledgeable in mediation and um, just helped me to to learn those skills and then to hone those skills and to help me to see what it is that I was doing right and what it is I needed to work on. It, it was an invaluable experience and I'm very grateful to them for their professionalism and their experience and what they gave me.